This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 29, verse 6. Thou shalt be busy of the Lord of hosts with thunder and with earthquakes and great noise, with thunder, with storms and tempests and flames of devouring fire. Dead and nine others hurt after they were struck by lightning at a Georgia Army base. A spokeswoman for Fort Gordon says it happened yesterday morning around 11 at the base in Augusta. We're working to learn more about all those soldiers involved. So as you see uh, on that little 17 to 18 second clip that I showed you, I mean, I don't know the video was blacked out, but as you was hearing what he just reported about, you know, uh, one soldier killed and I injured by a lightning at a Georgia military base. And I just brought out the scripture of uh, Isaiah 29 and verse 6, you know. And that's what you're, you know, seeing the power of the Lord is being brought on this uh, earth. You know, that's why I bring out the scripture, Isaiah 29 and 6. Thou shalt be visit with the Lord of hosts, with thunder and storms, a tempest, a flaming, devouring fire. You know, that's why uh, you're seeing these uh, volcano erupts. You're seeing these uh, wildfires. Uh, you're seeing these uh, heavy magnitudes of earthquakes in diverse places. You know, you're seeing the uh, heavy mudslides, heavy landslides, heavy storms that cause a lot of significant damage. These are uh, heavy tornadoes, these heavy earthquakes in diverse places around the world. And you're going to see these things increase. So that lets you know it's showing signs that the Heavenly Father is definitely visiting the earth which he made because the earth is his footstool the lord he's the that does these things because you know they always like to say climate change and mother nature as i mentioned this in my previous videos in regards to uh doing videos of the earthquakes in diverse places as i covered doing videos with the high magnitudes of increase of earthquakes uh, around the world can cause some serious damage at times it might not and then times it does you know so that lets you know that the happy father he's in, in control and he's the one that doing these things it's not mother nature it's not climate change as they always like to push out as they always push out the narrative of this is climate change we're trying to have uh, ways to uh, fix the ways of climate changes and everything like that you cannot change the ways of what the heavenly father is doing you know sometimes they love the tampering with the weather predicting what the weather is going to be you know it's the heavenly father he's the one that does these things he's the ones that create snow he's the ones that create uh heavy rains and tornadoes and storms and hills and a fire volcano erupts the Heavenly Father, He's the one that's doing these things on the planet Earth. That's why I brought out Isaiah 29 and 6. Thou shalt be visit of the Lord of hosts with thunder, flames of a devouring fire, and heavy storms, heavy earthquakes, heavy tornadoes, fire erupts, heat waves, famines, pestilence, you name it, He, etc. He does all these things. And no, it's not climate change, it's not Mother Nature. It's the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashem Al Shai, that's doing all these things on the planet Earth. So with that, I hope this uh, uh, sit-down lesson video was edifying through the spirit, power, and grace and mercy of Yahweh Al Shai. And first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Makar Kadash.
double honors to the elders, apostles, of the great millstone, preaching the word of truth and sincerity. Shout out one to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word of truth and sincerity. And shout out one to the Akim, uh, that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching the word of truth and sincerity. And until next time, I will say shout out one with the ball, the ball.